What's up, peeps? You know what I'm noticing as I speak to a lot of African Americans, especially Christian African Americans, is that no one's excited about Hillary Clinton. Article came out this week that at the National Baptist Convention, that's the historic black uh, convention that pulled away from the Southern Baptist Convention over the issue of slavery, uh, out of 5,000 organizers that were expected, 1,000 organizers showed up or delegates from the Baptist Convention. And I can tell you, uh, even in speaking to black liberals, they're not excited about Hillary Clinton. I think ultimately because they know that something is really, really foul about the Clintons. Okay, Again, consider Rwanda. We had U.S. soldiers and Bill Clinton pulled out those soldiers, okay? Pulled them out. The UN pulled out soldiers. That's what the movie Hotel Rwanda was about. Million Rwandans killed by each other, okay? Uh, there goes the whole theory of, of uh, uh, racism being the inherent uh, root of all evil. Uh, folks, we're all sinners, and all of us have the potential of great evil, even when it comes to our own family, our own race, our own culture, okay? Sin does not discriminate. That's why we desperately need Jesus Christ. But that's on a whole different note. Um, blacks aren't excited about Hillary Clinton. They've seen the Clintons in action, okay? Bill apologized for what he did with Aristide, triggered a civil war in Haiti. I'm talking about thousands. Man, the Clintons got so much blood on their hands. It's crazy, okay? Triggered a civil war, and then uh, he affected the agricultural, agricultural state of Haiti, um, he basically uh, discouraged them from farming and, and believed that, hey, if, if food is imported, Haiti would be better. Uh, he apologized for that. Uh, he apologized to the Rwandans. He said, oh, um, I didn't want to contribute to the civil war. I mean, these people kill each other with machetes. All you had to do is have UN and US soldiers with guns stationed in all the cities and in all the refugee centers. Man, how are people going to approach and kill their own people with machetes when they see uh, European and, and foreign nation UN soldiers there with guns. Man, come on. He apologized for that, of course. Um, trying to think what else he apologized for. But the Clintons, we know are foul, okay? Everything with the Clinton Foundation controversy, the way they lie, they're, they're the typical um, underwoods of the Netflix series um, House of Cards, okay? That's them to the T. And I'm telling you, black Christians, I speak to them, and within five to ten minutes, man, they're like, you know what? I'm not excited about being a Democrat anymore. I'm not excited about the Clintons. But I thought Hillary is better than Trump. And I, and I explained to them, look, Trump is not the best candidate in the world. But based on kingdom principles, as far as abortion, pro-life, the history of slavery, all the stuff they've done in black communities what they did in Rwanda, what they did in Haiti. Um, I mean, just all this, all the blood, all the, uh, uh, the people who've died around the Clintons, they definitely are worse. So again, I want to encourage you to, to do the right thing as a Christian, as someone of Afro descent, as someone from a different culture. Please, based on principle, okay, don't vote. Vote another party or vote for Trump, but do not go down the route of voting for the Clintons. They have tons of blood. Did you, did you know that in the 90s, Bill Clinton's policies put more blacks into jail? Do you know more private prisons have donated to the Democrats, especially the Clintons? Do you know how wrapped up the Clintons are with private prisons? Folks, these I mean, you, and that's where, that's where they're sending black men. Okay? These black men get locked up in urban communities ran by Democratic chiefs, Democratic mayors, Democratic commissioners. Folks, let's wake up. It's not about being a Republican. It's about being independent, kingdom Christian who makes people earn their vote. And Christians, white, black, Asian, we need to make these politicians earn our vote, especially in the African-American community. Peace.